Hello ladies and gentle friends, my name is Danny and this is Salarm 2, a monster collecting RPG with randomly generated content. Um, the reason why I picked this game up because it reminds me of another game I played a lot, uh, Monster Seed. <laughs> um, naturally this game is a, a fairly lower budget version of that, but um, it's an indie game, um, so we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so round 2 contains a light storyline for you to follow, however, unlike most RPGs, it's not meant to be the focal point of the game. Boss fights and counter the story are extremely difficult. If you find yourself unable to beat the enemies, don't worry. Find you in your party, adapt the strategy, and try again. Once you're stronger, good luck. Alright. Oh my! Could it really be you? I finally found the one I am looking for. Quickly, human, tell me your name. Um. I just call myself Danny on this one. Yes, yes, it is you, Danny. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for you, esteemed King of Salam. Um, are you a queen? <laughs> That's such a pretty funny joke. Listen, I don't mean to sound rude, but honestly, I can't tell. Are you male or female? Well, I have a big beard, sir. <laughs> I'm not sure where you're from, but if females have gross ass beards like I do, then you got a problem. Of course, I knew it. You're a king, and a darn good one at that. Or so I've heard. Alright, one final question. What sort of mage are you? Life, death, or someone in betwixt? Okay, so chaos. Looks like you've got a choice between five different things here. Chaos, uh, chaos magic are calculated risk takers who capitalize on certain discord and overwhelm their foes. Chaos Magic start their quest with a Berserker Fiend, the terrifying beast of Discord that uses anger as its weapon. Death. Their magic is drawing strength in numbers from constructing an army of outfitting their spellbooks. Death Magic start the quest with a Rapturous Ghoul, a mindless zombie that exists only to kill for its master. Life. Life Magic are amplifying their creatures' endurance and use restoration to us to remain steadfast in battle. Life Magic start the quest with a Dark Crusader, a defensive fighter capable of stabbing even the most brutal attacks. Nature. Nature Magi are well-rounded survivors who always seem to have an answer to everything standing in their way. Nature Magi start the quest with a sand giant, a slow but powerful creature that regenerates in flesh when wounded. And sorcery. Sorcery magics are resources broadcasters that can manipulate the environment to their benefit. Sorcery magic is at the quest of a coast vulture, a cunning minion that relies on its boundless wit to overcome its foes. Hmm. I'm gonna say we're gonna be a sorcery. Got it. You're King Danny, the sorcery mage. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Veritag, god of time, and. Eternity's end is where I call home. Now then, on to more important matters. You're probably wondering why I, an all-powerful god, seek counsel of a human like you. Truth be told, I have a reason to believe that your king, the Salam, may be in immediate danger. You see, the demigod with not so good intentions has arisen to power in the kingdom of Credo. He calls himself Misery. And he has ambitions to overthrow the ever prominent Salam. Now, normally this wouldn't bother me all too much, such is the way of humans after all, but Misery doesn't plan to just stop at Salam's demise. As you know, Salam's, Salam sits atop a gigantic never orb. With it, the demigod like Misery could abuse its relic to attain full on godhood. Even with his weakened state, Misery is a force to be reckoned with. And worse yet, as a god, I am unable to intervene with such affairs. That's why you coming, my dear Danny. Only a human if you're strength and hope to defy the mis um, misery, and considering he's killed most of the other kings and queens, well, we don't have many other options. <laughs> Cheers, guy. We'll take the god of time. Now, I'm sure you're asking yourself, how great is the, uh, the pandemonium if I ever defeat the demigod? The answer is simple, my dear human friend. We have plenty of training. Now get started. Okay, so... 
Welcome to Eternity's End, one of the many different realms you encounter during your travels. As I said before, Eternity's End is my domain, so it will be a perfect place for me to teach you everything you need to know about creatures, battling, and all kinds of other exciting things. So then, let's get started with the basics. In this world, you need to collect and summon creatures to fight for you. I've already prepared one such creature for you. The Coast Watcher, don't be shy, go to him and introduce yourself. This is where he basically noms my fucking face and I die. Well, the Coast Watcher does not speak, it seems oddly familiar to you. The creature nods at you, assuredly. You've received the Coast Watcher creature. I picked him because he looks like a beholder. <laughs> Perfect, now we see the two of you are fair in battle together. Use the teleport to move into the next area and confront the enemy. Alright, so. Alright, so cool. You actually just follow on with me. That's good. Alright, so. Um, we gotta fight this dude. The dungeon shade flashes an evil grin as it approaches you. Wipe the ar the arrogance off its face. Alright, so uh oh. Dungeon Shade has appeared. Okay, so um Can this thing cast anything? It doesn't know any spells. Alright, so let's just attack him. Alright, so he appears to be fairly quick. Creatures are victorious. Excellent. Look, I've noticed that I, my, my character itself does not fight just the creatures. So, alright. So looks like we've gone gained a bunch of stuff on that. That's good. You also gained five percent power bands, bringing your total power bands to one hundred and five percent. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Hold on, it looks like you bow left behind a little gift for you. Why don't you open it up and see what's inside? You eagerly pry open the trash chest. It contained a sword. Oh my, you found an artifact. Each creature can equip one artifact to boost their strength and gain them um, new traits. The sword is a little boring, but later on you'll find much better artifacts for your creature. I need you equip that sword onto your coast watcher. Go on, I'll wait. Okay. So, um... Alright, so it gives him plus 10 attack. Alright, so, um, actually, let's check out our creatures, because I, I don't think I've actually had a look at him yet. Alright, so, um, he has to think baffled. His creatures with extra damage equal to the amount of intelligence it has greater than its target. Okay, so, ideally, we want this creature to um, level up its intelligence a lot more. We seem to be doing alright. And it looks like the sword gains levels every time it kills stuff. Well done, you're pretty good at this. Use the teleporter again and let's finish things up. Alright, okay. So. You eagerly fly open the treasure chest. You can send a gem or spell strike. How rare! A spell gem! You can equip these creatures with these items and allow them to cast a spell contained within. Normally, each creature can only equip three spell gems at a time, but there are plenty of ways to increase this limit later on. Ah, so okay, so this is kind of like a Pokemon thing then. Yeah, then, please equip the spell gem with your Coast Watcher. Okay, um, going to guess it's down here. Uh, target takes a moderate amount of damage, 50% of the damage is based on the caster's attack instead of intelligence. Okay. Lock it! Ah, right, here we go. 
Alright, so get your coastal jewel of spell gem strike. Okay, so Perfect, great work. Now for your final test, I've resurrected that poor dungeon shape you beat up earlier. Finish him off for good this time. Okay. The dungeon snake snarls at you in anger. You must be upset from the beatdown you gave it a few moments ago. Time to finish him off. Okay, so. Dungeon hostile shade has appeared. Okay, so we can now actually cast a spell. Okay, so we're doing a lot more damage to it now. You and your creatures are victorious. Oh nice, we're both level 2 now. Into more stuff, that's great. Excellent, you seem to have a firm grasp over the basic, uh, but at the very least but you are still not ready to fate misery. Far from it, in fact. Yeah, I imagine he's the end boss. Use the telephone one last time and I'll take you back to your kingdom so I'll um, meet you. Meet with your trusted companions and tell them everything you learned about misery. And the time is right, I'll show you how to breach misery's castle and destroy him, but now you must seek new creatures to boss the army and hone your skills. Good luck, Danny. Okay. Okay, so you returned home to your kingdom's land. I wonder about you hurriedly discussed the looming situation with your most trusted wards, Damius and Herobon. You say you speak to Vertag again, King Danny. What did he say this time? So it seems that Misery character wishes to destroy our kingdom and use its power to ascend to godhood. This does not bode well for us, King Danny. Let's prepare for battle immediately! Indeed, King Danny, we did not earn your royal title for any small reason. You are the most powerful mage in all the land. Better yet, you've touched by the gods. As far as we can recall, you are the only human capable of communicating with these deities. If anyone has the chance to stop this so-called demigod, it's you. Yet I fear our noble king may have some work to do before he can hope to take on such a assumedly powerful adversary. There's a little time to add, King Danny. Please let us prepare immediately. First things first, you don't you won't survive long with any lonely creatures on your side. Take this core of summoning brazen to the southern end of Slam. Use it to summon the new creature and return to me. Okay. Okay. Deranged Gorgon core. Take this item to the spell chamber to summon a deranged Gorgon. <laughs> Alright. Uh, after this creature attacks it, so you can Look, stunned for one turn, okay. Right, so. Alright, so let's go to the south of our kingdom. Alright, so I'm guessing this is the pauldron of whatever the fuck to summon the creature. Aha! Alright, so, nice. I think I definitely I picked the... I think I definitely picked the right um, stuff here. You lost a thousand broomstone and a thousand crystal and one drainage ball from core in the process. Good work, you summon a creature. Once you acquire additional cores, you can return to this place and summon even more creatures. Okay. I have noticed that summoning your deranged girl can also cost some brimstone and crystal. Both of these resources can be tamed by defeating enemies. Nice, alright, so... Alright, let's talk to this guy. Most excellent, you can require additional cores by extracting them from enemy creatures. Be warned, however, aside from a few basic creatures, you can extract from the creature that has already been contained within the beastery! Located in the library. So you can move Katrina, the kingdom's librarian, has requested you meet with her. Your earliest convenience. You should keep her waiting. No, she has a nasty temper at times. You'll find the library walking through the eastern wing of Slime. Don't go too far though, you might end up in the tavern. Aw oh, man! Let's get you an excuse to get drunk. Oh. Um. Okay. 
guessing this is the, uh, guessing this is the place. Hello oh, King Danny, I'm glad you came. I've received a large supply of useful books that might pique your interest. Some books provide useful information about different parts of our very own castle. While other books are, in, are enchanted, they write themselves so you learn more about the outside world. If you have time, feel free to take a look. Thank you for visiting me, King Danny. You should return to Darius and see if he has anything else to teach you. But before you go, take these spell gems. You might find them useful on your journey, especially after you acquire new creatures. Okay, ooh, hello. Mind crush, target creatures lose this moderate amount of intelligence and is afflicted. And is afflicted with sleep. Gem of blur, your creature gains moderate amount of speed. Each enemy has a 50% chance of being be confused for 3 turns. Target has a moderate amount of damage, is afflicted with weak for 5 turns. Uh, gem of blur, creatures gain a moderate amount of speed. Okay, so. Actually, there is something I want to do with that. Um, creatures. Okay, so um, let's manage spell gems. I actually want um, this one because um, I believe it's this one. Enemy has fifty percent chance of fifty confusion. Ah, yeah, it's this one, the mind, mind Crush, because remember, this creature does more attack if he has higher intelligence than something. So, um, yeah, we want to give him Mind Crush. I'm almost, almost tempted to actually give him... Alright, okay. Target takes a moderate amount of damage and is afflicted for weak for 5 turns. Okay, so um, let's back out of this one. Let's actually see um, the creature sheet for this thing. Okay, so blink. After a creature attacks, since we chance to stun a target for, um, for one turn. Okay, so this thing actually likes to stun creatures, it likes to attack as well. Alright, so this thing likes to attack a bunch. Um, I don't like the fact that this is going to cost you 26% of her health. If she has a 50, 50, 50 confused for me. Okay, so. Damage. It's weak for 5 turns. But she likes to hit stuff. Um, she has a coin flip to um, stun them, so I wonder if we can just um We'll give her the confusion gem for now. Uh, the reason being is um like um it could be a very nice way of like um stopping big party fights from getting out of hand. Cause I don't want all the spells going on to my beholder here because uh I I want him using his stuff for um, other things, so... Alright, uh... I imagine there'll be lots more gems and stuff that we can use later on, so... How oh, good, you're back. It's time to learn about teleportation, Shime. It's fable where it allows you to teleport to a realm! A land far away from here. You'll be able to encounter all sorts of dangers to like to like. When you use a teleportation shrine, you'll be able to select uh, the realm depth. The higher the realm depth, the more dangerous the in warding the realm. Keep in mind, however, you can only teleport to a realm that we've already visited. Please give a try. Use a teleportation shrine and teleport to the realm. Defeat the enemies you find there and strengthen your creatures. And be sure to explore wherever your eyes can take you for treasure. When you've finished, locate the teleportation shrine somewhere in the realm and use it to return to Salon for further instructions. Okay, so I'm guessing this is the teleportation shrine. Alright, cool. Um, okay, so we're going to end it this episode because it's already gone on for um, a little bit. 
Uh, when we return, we'll actually delve into our first dungeon. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.